to our channel. So today we're really excited because we have another advent calendar opening. And this time we have this Harry Potter Lego advent calendar. So I don't know about you guys, but we <laughs> what we absolutely I love to try to hard not to yawn. Harry Potter, especially me. I have loads of so I've read all the books and all the films. I have loads of like Funko Pop figures and key rings. I've also got these really nice like um, some makeup and I've got some makeup brushes that are like in the shapes of all the characters, different ones. I have this lipstick right and it changes colour, it's very cool. And I also have I have pajamas that say Harry Potter on them, which I think they're pretty cool. Um and that's it. Yeah, I only have pajamas. <laughs> so we have model 75964 that we are going to open. It's age, age 7 plus. Sorry. You might also notice, oh, it's flapping. That's because we actually, we are, I haven't opened the calendar, but we opened like the, oh. the bottom bit. It's, so, yeah. oh, it's gone down here. So we opened the bottom bit, so we're just going to. What are you doing? I don't know. Open. Oh. Okay, so it's backwards. It's upside down. Okay. This is just so beautiful. So you've got like a nice, really a nice warm, like wintry scene outside with like their footprints leading into the Great Hall. And then you've just got this nice like warm like glow in this corner. It's got the Christmas trees and, and the, the gargoyles. gargoyles. And the, the, the Great Door. Is it called the, the Great, great Door? No, because it's the Great <laughs> Door. And enter the Great Door. <laughs> so there are 24 windows. And it, um, and it costs 25 pounds. So, so if you buy like that mathematic skills, it equals one each window is one pound and four pence. Roughly. So we're gonna see it. We're gonna open up door number one. Well we're gonna open up all the doors and see if it's value for money. Where's door number one? Door number one. <laughs> Okay, so let's try and be careful. So these are so what we like to do with the calendars that we have is so we like to collect them. Oh, Oh, so there's like what you get. It's on the side. Oh, careful now. No. Oh, Harry! <laughs> so this they is got Harry, Harry Potter. Potter. Oh, oh. oh, cool. We have to make oh, them. This so says up here, it says packaged from reusable resources or responsible. Okay. So these are all the pieces, and we've just noticed that this is really cool because we've got Happy Harry on one side of the face. And angry Harry on the other side. Of scared, the face. scared oh. Harry. Scared Harry on the other side of the face. So that makes it quite cool, like when you're playing. So you actually get to build them. I like that. So he's got his um, jumper with the H on, which is what he had in the first book. It's his Christmas present. So there's Harry. Oh yeah, and oh look, oh that's cool. So you actually get given two ones. So in case you lose up. one, I'm not going to take the other one off then. Oh, that's cool. I like that. He put his wand in his hand. Uh, Expelliarmus. <laughs> <laughs> number two. Oh, and what Rafe wanted to say when she was opening number one, because she got so excited that she got Harry, is that we like to open them, like, carefully, so we can, like, reuse them every year. So oh, it's the Hogwarts uh, Express. Oh, look, I've got a train. No, you got the Hogwarts Express. So we've got actually instructions on how to build it on the door, which is actually really cool. So instead of there being a, like a manual thing, it's not a train. It's the Hogwarts Express. <laughs> which is a train? No one calls it the train. I call it a train. Okay, there's a load of pieces, so I need the instructions. So oh, I need to turn Hogwarts around. Look how cute it is! It's really small and nice. So um, it was really easy to build as well, and it also came with these like little spare. Ah, you spare oh, bitch. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> he's already there. Like, he's going home now. Home go home. Home. <laughs> so we're going to put the little spare bits in a gripsaw bag so they don't get lost. Cause, and also in the calendar, like, if we just put them randomly back in, there's, like, Where's... a big hole here so they could fall down and get lost. So here we go, number two. Number three. So I have a Christmas tree. <gasps> okay, I think I can get that. I read the instructions. Oh, there's loads of bits. So I'm a bit disappointed with the Christmas trees because personally, I think they could have like made them a bit better. Like everything is good apart from this. what? What is this? Oh, it's covered in snow. I, it's okay. So it's supposed to be covered in snow. I was just thinking, like with that, they could have just made we could have just made more of these smaller because that would look a little bit better. But I guess hey, it's a Christmas tree. At least we've got some. So we put those on either side of the Great Hall and. Great door, even the great door, and we've got some spare parts which I put in the grip saw bag. Which go in here. So now we're gonna find number four. Where is number four? What? Ah, oh, here. Number four. What is it? Oh, we got another Christmas tree. We're really Christmassy. We've got loads of trees. 
Oh, but this one looks like an actual, it looks like a bigger tree with snow. So these are all the bits, and there's actually a lot, so I think this is going to be a much bigger tree than these little ditty ones. So this one was trickier to build, but it's still a really cool tree, and I think this one's my favourite because it just looks more like like snow little droplets on I the tree. I think it's missing a white bit off the bottom. Wait, what? Where? Oh, right, so that's... There we go, now it's a completed tree. Right, hang on. Put the spare bit, right? So we've got some spare bits here. Pass, wait, pass me a gripsaw bag, Rob. There you go. Aha, uh -huh, we have a... Com no, we don't. What have I done? So I'm going to put the spare bit back. We've got a door. completed tree. It's so cute. So we're going to put it... He can, like, be in the middle of both those two trees. That looks really cute. And it's door number five. No, oh, five's here. Open that one. <gasps> oh, yes, it's the Gryffindor flag. What? Oh, that's cool. So that how oh that should be quite simple to build. We have one lonely spare part now. This one is so cool. I like this. I like this flag. So it's got I the like colours. The color. It's very cute. A cute. cute. I need oh, stop. Big different word. Look at the dictionary. Awesome. So we're gonna put this behind Harry because of course Harry's Gryffindor. So. Ta -ta. Vibrant. That's a good one. Six. 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 Oh, I want it. <laughs> Six. Right. Six sticks What is it? I can't see. What is it? Oh, oh, oh Professor yeah. McGonagall. Happy Professor? Oh, what's that side? Oh, no. No, no, she's got no face. So she's only got one side of her face, which is happy. So we're going to build you. I like her hat. That's a really cool hat. It's like a... It's like a... Witch's hat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know. Look, yeah, she's, so she's got two ones as well. Look at her. She's so cute. Oh, no, she is... Oh, I love all the she's texture. She's not cute. Look at the pattern. She's really cool. That's so cool. It's got like patterns on it. Number six. Is it number We're six? We're gonna put you. Where should she go? She can be by the Christmas tree. Number six. Number seven. <laughs> I can't keep count. My you're brain. you're odd one. numbers. I'm even numbers. You're very odd. Here we go. Table and tabla. No. Yeah. It's not. I don't know. What's this oh. I hit the camera. Oh, oh yeah, we've got a table. Oh, we've got little things. Um, what do you goblets. Call goblets. 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 So we've got the table, and there was only one spare part, which was a little gold thing that's on the bottom of the table. So it's quite a nice table. We've got two goblets, and we stick Harry. Harry. Harry Potter. Put Harry. So oh, Harry's legs. Harry's different to Professor McGonagall because his legs don't actually move at all. Yeah, so like she can sit down, and so she can sit. How is table. Harry going to sit at the table? What a, you can stand, you can stand on the table. Ah, you just knocked the professor over. How dare you? Harry, get off the table. Always the rebel. Always the rebel, yeah. Number eight. What do I have? Oh, yes! We have food! So they're not going to starve. It's a giant oh. turkey. It's a turkey. And what's this? Like, roast potatoes or something. Potatoes. It's yeah. not cute. Ah, uh, it's so vibrant. That doesn't work that time. Oh, I love it. Look, there's like little food we can put it on the table. Why is there a wand in okay, the goblet? Okay, we need some little goblet because she's drinking her wand. So we're gonna be. Look, she's drinking her wand. There we go. Oh, that's so cool. And look, we can add the little legs to the chicken. Is that right? Did is that? Oh, look, and then if. Oh, and then if you're hungry, like they can take a bit of the chicken off and eat it. Look how cool that is. Num 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 num. Number nine. Oh cool. So you actually get a Slytherin flag as well. Oh, oh they can have battles. What? You know? Can yeah, she ride finished. the one? Oh no. No, they don't ride the one, sorry, what they ride? They ride a broomstick. They ride oh, like, <laughs> oh. Right, I do not know Harry Potter. No, she doesn't even read the story. She just goes, she goes, yeah, the films are good enough. No, yeah, the films are good. The books are better. The books are so long, though. No, no, not all of them are that long. So this is the flag. So it's this is the Slytherin flag, green and silver, and next to the Gryffindor flag. I love the flags. They look really cool. Number 10. Where are you? Ah, oh, right here. You're right next to me. What do we have? <gasps> yes! We got Ron. Ron. Ron the... Ron the Ronnie. Ah. Oh. Weasley. Weasley, that's it. Um, Weasley. I'll help build you. Oh, look, he's got two faces. He has got a really frightened face. Look at that face. He is terrified of something. Oh, he's always scared. He's, yeah, yeah. 
And then he's got a happy, like, smirky kind of face. So he's got two faces. So McGonagall doesn't. So I think all the main characters will have two faces. And then... Oh, look at that. He's got his hair on. We can put him on... What he's also got his Christmas jumper on. Oh, he's got his Christmas jumper on. His maroon coloured. Oh, look jumper. at that. And he's got two wands. Wait, has he got his Christmas jumper on? So we can give him a wand. Oh. I like the wands. They're all the different. Wands coming over here to say hi to Harry. Wand. Hey, Harry, I'm really, wand. really scared. His wand. Oh, his wand. Don't they look fab in their Christmas jumpers? It's all oh, Christmassy. Christmas Woo! Number 11 now. What do we have? Oh, I can make a table. Oh, I've got a candle. Oh, look, I like the candle. It's like... See through. So see -through. the Slytherin table can have one of the candle on it. Second table, and the candle is so nice. I don't know why, I just really like that. It's got like a, an illuminescent kind of feel to the candle. We've got we've also got some spare parts. We've got a spare candle head, which I put back in there. So there we go. The goes on the table having a party. Number which 12. Which one? Number 12. What do we have? I can't see. <gasps> yes, I'm getting all the food. We've got more food. I love the little foods, they're so like cute. Right, I need to think of a different word. They're so, I don't know any other words. Yummy! They're cute. Look, so we've got a crescent in the bowl. We've got like a pie. A crescent? Yeah, a crescent. We've got Cro more crescent. flasks. Wait. And we've got some cookies. I like the little, what are they, cookies? Oh, the chocolate cookies. Oh, wait, actually, they look like mince pies. I feel like they should be mince pies because Ron's always eating mince pies at Christmas, you know? Wait, oh, his legs don't move. Oh, his legs are stationary as well. So, so, so the little, the, the, the main characters don't actually have legs that move. They so they can't walk. No, but it's because up. I was just looking on the box. It's because so the teachers, so McGonagall and um, what's oh, his face? um, Professor Dumbledore. They oh, they um, their legs can walk forward, um, but these guys can't because they're like smaller. So the faces change of the, on the main characters from the professors. There's like only one face, I oh think. Oh my gosh, everyone, stand but up. But the legs move instead. Yeah. Yeah. Right, stand. Oh yes, here we go. So we've got the Ravenclaw flag. So I'm in the Ravenclaw house. What house are you? I don't know. What I feel mean? like I'm in Gryffindor. I think that is why. You're brave. What? what did the Harry Potter talking hat put us in? Oh, that, that was Gryffindor, that Harry Potter hat we did. The review we did. Yeah, no, but that said I was in. That said I was in Hufflepuff. I'm not in Hufflepuff. I'm in Ravenclaw. I'm definitely in Gryffindor then, because it said I was in Gryffindor, and then I did a test online, and that said I was in Gryffindor, and then one said I was in um, Slytherin. And I was keep, like, keep nah. talking, keep talking. I will keep talking. Hello. Gonna set the flags up around the table. I love the flags, and I don't know why. I just think they're really cool. So, what flag are we missing, Ra? We are missing. We're missing the yellow flag. Yeah. So, which house is that? Raven. No, it's not. Someone give it H. Huffle. Hufflepuff. Hufflepuff. I'm missing Hufflepuff. Come on, let's go. 14. Five more days till Christmas. It's my turn. I didn't realise it was my turn. Where's the 14? Liddy, liddy. 14. Ooh. Wait, stop moving. Oh, yeah. You're going to fall over. I got Hermione. Look at that. We, can, we have the whole shebang now, don't we? No. Where's Dumbledore? Okay, apart from Dumbledore, we have the main, three main characters. Oh, I like that face, look. The scared face. We've yeah. got the scared face, and then we've got the little smile. I like the smile, it's cute. So we can put you in. I like her hair, it's really, I don't know why. Look, she's got, what has she got? She's got her winter clothing on, hasn't she? Winter clothing. She's got her uniform on. Yeah, again, look, her legs, they don't come apart. And then she's got her little wand. Come on, wand. Number 15. There is, what is 10 more days to I'm looking at that, I'm thinking, mm -hmm. is that supposed to be McGonagall as a snowman? <laughs> it's like a wizarding snowman. No, yeah, witch. that's what they make at Christmas. They make, I started to wear, no, it, it could be a wizard. It's a witch. It's a witch. Look, the snowman can go here. If you put the snowman, it can go on the snow. Really like the snowman. I love that scarf. Look at it. Look, it's, we put sticks. One stick hand is longer than the other hand because I accidentally shoved it through too hard. And the hat. I love the hat. Look, it goes all the way around. So that point, so it reminds me of like a shark fin kind of thing going on there. Number eighteen. Nope. Nope. Sixteen. Nope. What number? Sixteen. That's what I said. Yeah. Okay, number sixteen. Where are you? Six I, found you I can't down count. Down I'm gonna have to the door. The cheese. 
Oh, will it be Gan? No, what is what it be Gandalf? Oh, I can't that. see that. Dumbledore. What is, what is it? What is that? So this is the chessboard, and it's so cool. Like it's like little miniature men. I really Love like it. the chessboard because it could um, either be um, just like a normal, ordinary wizard's chess where they just like play it throughout all the books, or it could be so in the philosopher pieces. In the philosopher's stone, um, Hermione, Ron, and Harry actually end up going and trying to get past this giant chessboard. So they could actually be playing like on the chessboard. That could be the little characters as well. Seventeen. Where is it? I found it. Uh, Move the little flags. I love the flags. Oh, no. Oh, oh good. I thought I'd ripped it then. Oh, here we go. I'm getting all these flags. Oh, oh yeah, we've got, 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 so got all four. Oh, what are you doing? Ah. So we've got our final Hufflepuff flag now, which you can place here. My favourite part of all this, I think, is the flags. I've no idea why. There's just something really nice about them. Oh, no, I love the food. I like the little foods and like the little keys and stuff. You just like small little things. Yeah, number 18. Number, oh, who there? Who are you? Who's that? We have a little man. I can't see. He's got a moustache. Mm -hmm. Who is that? Oh, that's, um, um, uh, Defense Against the Dark Arts. Oh my gosh, I haven't read this for ages. I can't remember. <laughs> I got it. Ow. I got it. It's really misleading. So, Professor Lupin. Okay, oh, so, well, Professor buddy. Lupin. I oh, know he's got two faces as well. He's got, he's Ooh. got, a normal face, I think. Has he got a werewolf face? face? Cause that'd be quite cool. And then he's got a talking. No, he's just got a bit of a a mouth face Will and it? then like a Will it? a funny face. Will it? Let yeah. me look. Cannot see that guy. Yeah, and turn my on. Not much of a difference. No, I don't think that looks like Lupin. But <laughs> look at that. Does his legs move I now? Don't know, I don't think that is Professor Lupin. His legs don't move. When does he wear a bow tie? Um, in the f hall. I think that is Professor Lupin. It's not very good. I just I don't think it resembles. Oh wait, him that no, well. the bow tie's got to go. So gone. why is Professor McGonagall only got one face? Uh, everyone oh. has, I guess His like face is stuck. I just feel like sometimes she gets angry and she's like Oh, okay, so this this calendar is actually based on the Philosopher's Stone and Professor Lupin isn't in the series until the third book. Third book. What's that Wait, one? he's really short, isn't he? Put him here. Hmm. He's the same. Oh, size that's kids. Professor Flitwick. So he's the really short um, professor that always stands on all those books to reach up to the desk. Because that would be why. Because look at the height difference in all the kids. <laughs> professor Flitwick. Oh, okay. This is not Lupin. This is Professor Flitwick. And that makes more sense because Lupin wasn't even in the first film. Number nineteen. Yes, it's the fireplace. <gasps> oh, that's cool. The one. This is. I'm. Yeah. This is probably like the Gryffindor common room fire. I wonder who's going to be number 20, I'm assuming. Um, I bet it's going to be Dumbledore. Yeah, Dumbledore, that's what I was going to say. So this is the fireplace, and I really like this. I think it's really nice and well built. There's actually some details along the um, corners of the bricks on the fireplace. I love the fire. Put that over here. That put some flags. I did put the spare Sorry. bits. We did get some spare bits. Nobody can come through the door. Well, no. <laughs> Okay, okay, uh, number 20. Number 20, where is that? Here, yeah, oh. There's four more days till Christmas. Four more days till Eve. Christmas. What's that song? Oh, oh my gosh, no. What is it? What is it? I can't see, tell me. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. What is it? So we don't really know what this is, but it's kind of like a stone with like some plaques on it of all the houses, which I kind of, I, I like the images of the houses, they're really cool. So I feel like this should be outside. So it can go outside there in the snack. Okay, number 21. It's missing. Oh, it's there. <laughs> it's up here. Is it my go? Yeah, before I start opening it again. Oh, that's fine. What is it? Oh, it's a Dumbledore. <gasps> Why a Dumbledore? Yeah, he's golden. What? So this is the Hogwarts architect. So I really like the beard piece on this character so he is supposed to stand up on this pedestal so we'll put him up there and that is now oh, complete yeah, that's so cool. and that looks really good i'm gonna actually switch it around so that he's looking the ravenclaw is at the front no gryffindor <laughs> so, there we go match the flag <laughs> number 22 where is number 22 oh uh, i found number 23 does that help you no i swear we're on number 23 ah we're here no we're not oh, we're not no, you just opened yours. Oh, presents! Oh, presents! Oh, I like these. 
Oh, this is gonna be cool. There's a lot of pieces. Look at that! Woo! <gasps> Look at the envelopes! Oh, they're cool. So look, I made the prezzies. Um, so there's one for each house. I like the Gryffindor one the best. I don't know why. No, let's go Ravenclaw. No, no. That one can likes go that. to the centre. Right okay, there. so we can put them around the tree because that's what we do every Christmas. So I feel like they should do it as well. You know. Look at that. Pop them around there, and then we can open number twenty-three. So oh, we can so close to Christmas. Christmas. I really want to see what's in I swear calendars, like, they don't do 25 anymore. Not like, really. there's never been door 25. No, yeah. Well, not on the reviews that we've done. No, yeah. <coughs> <coughs> oh, look, it's Dumbledore. So Dumbledore has two, so he's got details on the front of his robes and he's got details on the back of his robes. Oh. He also has a grey beard and he's got a slightly grumpier face and he's got a slightly happier face got two faces but McGonagall I think McGonagall's the only one now that doesn't actually have two faces and he's got his nice long grey hair and he's also got his wand so we've got Dumbledore here now so he can go and join he can make his footprints in the snow go join party you know no, I mean, he can stand by the fire he can, can have one of those grippy bags the brookie bags yeah um, it's a bit weird why McGonagall only has one face maybe it's a mistake or maybe because in the film she or the, I don't know, maybe she only has one expression. Yay, we're on to the last one. It's Christmas Eve. It would be kind of cool if it was that stone in the first film. I think it should be um, Dumbledore's, um, what do you call it? The bird that moves when he reads something out. In the Great Hall? Yeah. Oh, the owl. For, the owl. No, it's yeah. an owl. What is it? Oh, no, what is owl. it? What? <gasps> what is it? I can't see. Uh, oh, it's Dumbledore's desk. Oh, yay, look. Oh, I just took it out of the camera. Oh, look at his owl. Is that his owl? He's an owl. I thought he had a phoenix. Oh, look how cute it is. Look uh -huh. it. Ah, stand up. It's Hedwig. So this is actually um, Harry Potter's chest trunk. I think it's really cool. Look, it opens and closes. He has his little um, book of spells and magic. So that can go in the chest. You can put it in Got here. a bar of chocolate. He's got a bar of chocolate there, I like it. Look, he's got a little bow, it's so cute. He's got his, um, what do you call it, his letter to Hogwarts when he gets his letter, so that can go in there. We've also got some spare wands, which is really cool, so one wand can go in there. The other's been put in a grub store bag. It doesn't close, but Hedwig can go there when it's closed. <laughs> it's magic, he's flying. Look, we can put it here. So we're gonna take Hedwig, and we're gonna put him here. He looks really cute there, look. Look at that. I love this scene, it's so cool. This is actually pretty awesome. The background and the scenery, it's so like lovely and wintry. Yeah, and it works really well against all the colorful pieces. And all the like characters and all the um, pieces have loads of really nice detail. The faces and all the characters, I feel like even though it's like very simple, they're all slightly different to capture the characters' emotions. Like and that they Harry's have scared face is so funny. So everything's really well made and it makes a fantastic playset. Like all they of can, the things they can like hold, so they can hold all of the stuff, like all the food. And the only thing that I wouldn't say was so great was the train. I just feel like it's a little out of proportion for all of the um, the other things. The characters, it's just it's a tiny bit too small. <laughs> it looks a bit like a toy. I love the fact that they, like most of the pieces come with spare like wands and little mini parts that you might lose, so then you haven't like lost it forever. Yeah. This is just a really lovely and magical set, and it'll be really good. So everyone from tweens to adults are going to love this. Hope you enjoyed watching this, and if you did enjoy this, please go check out our other advent calendar openings. We really do appreciate all your support. Thanks for watching our video. Don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bloody hell, Harry. These mince pies look brilliant.